Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're doing a video about what roll should you buy first. This is kind of a uh, opinionated thing, but I will say the first roll should always be bounty hunter. I'm just strongly recommend you get bounty hunter because once you get the first 15 bars of gold, it's going to be insane to get the next 15 or for moonshine or 25. Also depends on the week. Sometimes things are on sale. Bounty Hunter is the only role that gives you gold for now, at this point in time, on August the 30th, in 2021. But, you know, for now, right now, it's the only role that gives you gold from completing its missions. But, after that, I it's more of your decision, but it's still your decision for what your first role should be. But, I would just strongly, strongly, strongly recommend you get Bounty Hunter first. There's just so many reasons for it. So, it's good for money, it's good, uh, it's just really good stuff. I mean, you, you can get the Reinforced Lasso, it's just great for PvP, and yeah, lots of stuff. Now, let's move on. In my opinion, the next role I bought was, was Collector, because I can make lots of money. And also, remember, you can actually grab collectibles before you have the Collector role, so that's pretty good. Then I bought Trader, then I bought Naturalist, then I bought Moonshiner. Now... Um, this is not a particular order I would recommend. I would recommend Bounty Hunter, Trader, Moonsh I mean, Collector, Moonshiner, and then finally Naturalist, because Naturalist is more or less a support role for the Trader role. But let's go in opinions. So, my opinion on Bounty Hunter is it's the only one that can give you gold, and so it's very opinionated. Would you like to get them first? It allows you to be a Western Cowboy and do bounties and take down bad dunes and arrest people, hog type people, take them back, kill them if necessary, so etc etc etc. It's very cowboy oriented oriented. Now when you look at Moonshiner role, you can be a moonshiner illegally going against the revenue and now I will say, bounty is immediately set up, instant set up. You can do legendaries immediately, you not much work to get it to get your gold. Moonshiner takes a lot to get your money. You need to complete the storm missions, you need to upgrade your still, and you, you need to do bootlegger missions if you want to get it even cheaper. So, it's kind of a setup to it. But, once you got it set up, you know, it took me about a day to get set up, which... Uh, granted, I'm not exactly the best player, and you could probably get it done in an hour if you're good enough, but, you know, it just depends on the player. But, once you get it done, it's going to be short things of, like, 200 bucks, depending on your recipe. You can get, like, 200 bucks in, like, 30 minutes, or, like, an hour or something. But it's going to be a short, quick 200 bucks every now and then. Now, if you look at Trader, it's going to take you a long, long, long time to get that one set up. Once you get that set up, though, you're getting around $600, and your friends are getting... Yeah, with Moonshiner, your friends get paid, like, $50. And it's a Moonshiner week. Moonshiner uh, Trader costs 15 bars. Bounty Hunter costs 15 bars. Moonshiner costs 25. Collector costs 15. And Naturalist costs 15. But there's sales sometimes to make some cheaper than normal. So, another good thing with Moonshiner is you actually get this cool shack you can hang out with. Hang out in. And you get to drink your moonshine, which is awesome. Get drunk. <laughs> yeah. But Trader, you, it's an extension to your camp. You get the butcher table. Got you 15 bars. You get the better wagon. And eventually you make $600. And your friends make around 250 Depending on the week. Sometimes it's got bonuses. So, but it's got a long setup too. But there's an easy way to get it leveled up. If your friend's already got his leveled up, just go on his Trader run. You might have to do like four Trader runs with him. I think three probably, maybe two. Took me like two or three with uh, Corios to get my level up, but it's not that much. So that's pretty good, and it's kind of hard to you gotta give him a bunch of animals with Moonshine. You just give the guy ingredients, buy the, buy the stuff, and it's not that expensive, and you know, not much going on. Trader, you gotta grab more stuff. You gotta get him resupplies, which you know, it's a lot of work. It's a lot more hands on. Moonshiner's a lot more hands off. Now we look at Collector. This is one of my favorite roles. It just really revamped the game for me sometimes. Because you just go, you use the Collector map, the Google Collector map, you'll probably find it immediately. Bookmark it, use that, it's awesome for collectors, for collectibles. So you have your collectible on the map. So it's pretty sweet, you grab lots of money. 
a collector will place a lot of money. And like the other rule, it's kind of an instant setup, other than diggables and metal collector ones. Other than that, you know, it's kind of insta setup like Bounty Hunter. But again, you know, depends on what you like. Do you like going across the world and collecting sets? Because it's kind of necessary to collect the sets, or you don't make as much money, but you do make a little money on hand. It's just really opinionated. And collector rolls are a really good roll, especially with the G with the collector map. So you can just collector map for days on days. It also gives you good XP. So you're trying to level up a card, you get lots of XP. So you go on the XP route. I'd probably recommend you get collector. Like you just want to be like a level 700. <laughs> And then the one I least recommend of any. But if you just really like animals, do the naturalist role. But my main reason for wanting naturalist role is it supports traders so well. Because you can get legendaries. You can just kill the legendary, scan it, and the skins are worth so much. I even made a little list on a notebook on what legendaries are the best. So, yeah. And naturalist, uh, it's just, that's pretty much his main perk for me. I don't even think I need level up my naturalist. Now, another thing that comes with a uh, roll and why you would want to buy that roll is the roll equipment that comes with it. The horses, the everything. Right here, this horse I'm riding right now. That's a naturalist roll horse. I think it's so pretty. It's like my favorite horse. It's just so beautiful. I just like it so much. Speaking of, I probably need to clean it. I don't use this horse because it's not as good as some of the other horses, but I like the way it looks, so I'll pull it out every now and then. And you got the Breton and Bounty Hunter, strong, manly. <laughs> and then you got the outfits, the belts, and everything. The buckles. It really comes down to what you like. But at the end of the day, Bounty Hunter, you should always get it first. But it's all your opinion, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more videos like this, like and subscribe. If you thought I did something wrong or said something that wasn't true, give it a dislike and comment down below what I was wrong about. And I will re respond to you and see that I'm wrong. Well, Mr. Fantastic signing off here. See you all next time. Have, have a good day and goodbye.